so I'm actually trying to shoot a couple videos a day because I know I'm going to be busy. So I want to speak for a second on why I think you should go out and be practicing with your equipment, but specifically your radio. Went out today to uh, my area and um, tried a couple different spots for hitting a repeater, different repeaters that I knew were fairly close. Some of them I knew I wasn't going to hit. Um, one I'm actually surprised I hit. And one of the ones I hit, um, I was able to talk to a guy in there who was actually happened to be testing out a jungle antenna. Go figure. Um, I really wasn't expecting anybody to be talking back with me at 12.30 on a Monday. But they were. And that same repeater I can actually hit from here at my house. And it's also part of a linked repeater system. So, that means, and I didn't think about this beforehand, that means next time I go out, next time I can go to the, uh, to the same spot, and I can have somebody here at home uh, listening to my radio, I can turn one radio on here and tell them, hey, be listening to this radio, see if you can hear me. Go down there, try and transmit them, have both of them set to the repeater, and try and transmit on the repeat, uh, hit the repeater and transmit. And if they can hear me from here at the house because of the repeater, that means I have viable communi radio communication from my area where I spend a lot of time in the woods back home, which to me is important. You know, you never know when you might need it. Who knows? But with that being said, I would have never known that if I had not gone out there and had not tried out radio, some of those radio stuff. And I was just using my little uh, UV5R with a signal stuff antenna and was able to do it. So, you know, I know the repeater was only like 15 miles away and I was a little bit on a, on a kind of a small hill overlooking a canal. But still, you know, if I had, don't go out there and I don't go and practice and see where what spots work, what spots don't work, make note of it. You know, that's why I said in my video the other day, carry that right in the rain notebook so that you can make notes of what areas work and what areas don't work. So I took, I make note of that area and made note of what repeater hit uh, and so on and so forth. So being able to do that and going and doing that, you know, you learn lessons that you're not going to learn otherwise. Um, and if I didn't have a, you know, my technician license legally, I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, don't 100% agree with the license and having to have a license, but that's besides the point of this video. The point is, go out, you know, even if all you have is just a little old UV 5R, and you just have it set up just like this right here, go out, see what you can do with it. See what you're capable of doing with it. If you have two of them, man, especially if you got your GMRS license now, you can really start doing some stuff. You can really get and see where you can communicate, say, back at home. How far can I go from home? If I'm out, you know, if I live in a city, hey, tell my wife, hey, you keep this UV 5R on you, I'm going to go for a run. We'll see where, how far we can reach out. And each time I'm going to go for a run, I'm going to go one way one time. The next time I go for a run, I'll go another way so it. We can kind of start mapping out, hey, what areas of the town or city that I can talk to. But you won't be able to do that if you don't go and practice radio. And practicing radio is important because a lot of the stuff you just are not going to know that works. Some, it's, and it's weird how some of this stuff works for me because I'm new to this and, you know, I'm trying to think of an example here. Um, this radio right here. Picks up very, very well. Excellent. In one particular spot of my house. Move to a different spot. Signal goes to crap. This radio, believe it or not, picks up excellent all the way around my house. Now, granted, that is two different antennas, but you kind of get what I'm saying. Like, I wouldn't know that if I didn't go and try it. Um, not too long ago when we had a bad storm roll through. I listened to this bad boy the entire time on different... You know, uh, repeaters, listening to the weather and what guys were talking about. I had another radio. I'm not, I don't have it out here with me, but another radio that I was tempted to do the same thing with, but it was 
it just didn't work. It just was a crapshoot. Um, it just didn't work, you know. And I wouldn't have known that had I not tried it. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. When that storm rolled through a couple months back, I had every single radio I had, I had turned on, and in different setups, seeing what was working and what wasn't. I had this one set up with just the rubber duck antenna, seeing what I could do with it, or how well I could pick up with it. I had this one set up with the uh, 771G, seeing what I could do with it, because you can still listen to hand bands on these GMRS radios. You can't transmit on them, but you can listen. So that's important to remember too. I tried these little UV5Rs in the stock configuration, just seeing what I could do. Um, I didn't have my BFF HP at the time, so I didn't use it. But, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Until you go out and use this stuff, until you actually implement your thoughts and your theories on how your radios are going to work in your area or um, under certain circumstances, you truly don't know. So I encourage you to... Go and practice with your radios. I encourage you to at least, at a minimum, pay the $35 fee and get a GMRS license so that you can practice even more. You know, there's some GMRS repeaters in my ear that are put up by private individuals who only allow uh, certain people to have access to those repeaters because they don't want to deal with people who don't have a license. So having that GMRS license, I'm able to access those repeaters so if I didn't have a GMRS license, I couldn't. So, it, you know, at a minimum, doing that is a pretty good step in the right direction. Um, and it at least lets you practice stuff. So that in the event that, you know, the FCC rules are out the window, you have already know what you're doing. So that's kind of my point. Get out. Practice with your radios. You would be amazed at what works and what doesn't work sometimes in certain circumstances how it does better than others so get out practice with your radios get better at them and again look forward to more videos on radio hopefully i can show show you guys some more stuff as i build and learn stuff i got planned on uh meeting up with a somebody i know who has been a ham tech ham radio license for like 30 or 40 years and plan on getting some good stuff from him and some good information from him so Hopefully I can learn some stuff, bring it back to you guys, and show it to you from the perspective of the average person who doesn't have a bunch of money and wants to uh, improve their communication situation a little bit. So, stay tuned.